They enrolled to study economics, but they could be forgiven for concluding that they had stumbled into a physics lecture instead. Economics students are taught to see the economy through the lens of a highly mathematical theory, but some of them are now complaining that this leaves them with little understanding of the real world. Ferdinando Giuliano is the FT's economics correspondent. Ferdinando, the economic students are in revolt. Uh, tell us what they're saying. Well, there's been a revolt going on for a few years now with a number of groups, for example, Rethinking Economics uh, or uh, a student group at the University of Manchester, which are really saying that what they're taught in lectures has very little to do with the economics we see in the real world, what you would read on the Financial Times, that really they are given some tools which are too detached and are not very helpful uh, to understand what happens. And also that some of them say that if they want to move into a job which is not necessarily an academic job, well, these tools they're taught are not particularly useful because they handle a very theoretical world, which is not the one we deal with in our day-to-day -day lives. So they've got lots of bones of contention with the economics curriculum, but it would just help to get an idea. Is there an example of some one particular area where they think the traditional way of teaching this stuff has it wrong? Well, for example, take the banking system. Banking system, uh, when you and I were undergraduates, especially in the first year course, was a very marginal part of the curriculum. We were taught a few basic models which really didn't explain uh, very much. And once we were taught about the uh, macroeconomic picture, the great picture, really banks didn't feature very much. Now, we saw during the financial crisis that banks are extremely important for what happens uh, to an economy because the way they leverage, uh, for example, risk is an essential part of what can go wrong uh, in an economy. So new courses which are being developed now are trying, for example, to address uh, this problem by explaining a lot more what happens in banks, how we can see uh, investors, for example, hurting and all buying the same assets and how they can walk out, walk out of certain assets when they see some danger creating a market panic. These are things which these new curricula are trying to introduce. What do the teachers think of all of this? Well, I think the teachers, most of them appreciate that something uh, had gone wrong with economics the way it was taught. Uh, however, I think some academics are a bit skeptical uh, of the complaints by students because they just think that students don't want to do as much, as much maths as the academics would like them uh, to do. And they point out that, in fact, uh, some of the things, for example, uh, explaining how an asset bubble is formed or uh, herding behavior by uh, investors can, uh, can re require uh, tools which are more complex than the mathematical tools which are uh, taught uh, at, uh, in the universities these days. Uh, so I think there is an understanding of, of the problem, uh, but there is also a scepticism of some of the demands. Now, if you were to go for a pint with someone who taught, who'd, who'd learnt medicine sort of 150 years ago, if that were possible, you'd really be talking to someone who'd learnt an unrecognisable discipline. Um, if we kind of go to the pub next week with someone who's followed one of these courses, will their understanding of economics be vastly different from the one that we were taught a decade or so ago? So I, I went uh, to see one of the lectures of these new economic courses which they're teaching at University College uh, here in London, the core uh, economics course. And you could tell that many of the instruments were really similar to the ones uh, you and I um, learned. And so the demand and supply diagram, the iconic one, is still there. So in a way, we would be talking uh, the same, uh, by the same alphabet, if you were. But in a way, the, the students these days in some courses seem to be uh, learning a lot more about what happens uh, in the real world. That, that lecture was full of real world examples, of references to what happened during the crisis, which is something uh, obviously I hadn't studied because I, I did my uh, undergraduate degree before that, but more generally there was a much greater use of data. And I feel like even though the alphabet uh, was probably, would be probably the same, uh, the words or the language we use would be in a way uh, different. And I would say probably what students are learning these days is, is a little bit more interesting as well, because while I was very prepared maybe for my uh, graduate uh, course, I had to really rely on newspapers to understand what was going on in the world. Whereas I think 
a lot more of what happens in the world is now filtering in the lectures as well, and that can only be a good thing. So maybe more of a science and less of a dismal one. Uh, Ferdinando, thanks very much.